Talk about a, a support group, both for each other and for patients. Five women who work in the cancer center are survivors themselves. We have a support system that is very unique. And it's the fact that we are survivors ourselves. We're working with really good doctors. Nancy Fonseca and Jamie Natal are two of the group known as the Fab Five working in oncology and hematology. Fabulous, not just for each being breast cancer survivors, but for how they use that experience to reach patients. The fact that I went through it and that I understand how that feels helps me help you or someone else going through it too. When they go through the chemo and they're throwing up and they're in pain, I'm gonna tell them that eventually the chemo will be over and they're gonna be strong and they're gonna be okay. And I know this for a fact because you know, I went through it myself. I've also always prided myself on really loving what I do and, you know, being a nurse, but I really was able to connect with my patients as well as, you know, the staff and having a supportive staff being behind me. The patients have been as much of a support system as I hope I am to them as well. They are heightened. Uh, and when you see them, they're impassioned by it. Um, I, I, you, you're never going to find a more dedicated group of five than those five. Nancy's cancer was discovered nine years ago when she was 53. I was very upset because I was busy doing a lot of things in, within my career. And uh, <clears throat> I guess like a lot of people says, you know, they don't believe what they're hearing. When Nancy was still a patient is when she interviewed to become the social worker here. Uh, so having that touch point of being, having gone through it, knowing the environment, knowing what it takes to actually do this kind of work by experiencing it uh, made Nancy a natural to come in and, and take over in that position and to really work hard for us. And I think she does a phenomenal job. In August of 2021, Jamie received her diagnosis at age 39. When Jamie was sick, which is one of our nurse, mm -hmm. I got to help her with resources. She didn't have to ask me. I knew exactly what she needed to get. So I got her grants and I got her support. I mean, I already knew exactly what she needed. So without having that pain of asking me, I already knew what she needed. And she it was given to her all the resources. Five women, each with different stories, but a unifying belief in helping others and early prevention. Those five, can send any message out to anybody, that's really the message to be taken out of this, that they knew what they had to do, they did it, and when they had a problem, they saw to it. Having someone who's helping you with the treatments, who've gone through them before, understands the dilemma. I don't want to say cathartic, but it's really that that moment, it's almost like a therapy session. Having that in the room creates so much positive for the patient outside of that room. When they go home or when they're out, they're out shopping, there's a, there's a calm, there's a sense of calm that they have and a sense of security they have. But they know that the person who's working with them and taking care of them really understands where they've been and where they are and where they're going. Uh, and I think that you can't, you can't put a value. That's it, that's immeasurable. When we are not in a good place, then we just, we know we could go to each other and we get a hug or we talk about what's going on or we even cry when we lose a patient that we have gotten close to. So to know that we could go to each other is, is, is a blessing because we understand the dynamics that are going on. The patients, the, the staff, the Fab Five, <laughs> um, it's just, it, it's an experience. It was tough, but it was also, it, it helps me in a way to help the other patients by sharing my story as well, that look, this is what I went through. This is kind of what you can expect. I can tell you from my own experience, this is how it went. This is this is my experience with it. Um, and try to answer some of those questions, not just by the book. And Liz, each of these women will stress the importance of self-exams and early detection, but also it's really just impossible to overstate how much compassion they're able to bring to their patients because they've also gone through it.